My name is Sara Saeb Kashoff and I'm a senior um, chemical engineering and biomedical engineering student at Carnegie Mellon University and for my honors research project I worked at the Pittsburgh Supercomputing Center um, under Dr. Marcus Dietrich. My project was on um, the effect of varying the number and location of voltage gated calcium channels on synaptic facilitation in the frog near muscular junction. So a synapse is just um, allows a neuron to transmit a signal to another cell. So a neuromuscular junction is a type of synapse that connects muscle fibers, skeletal muscle fibers, and motor neurons. So when you have a, an impulse traveling down a neuron, it results in a depolarization of the membrane and it results in the opening of these voltage-gated calcium channels. As calcium floods in, it binds to various sites underneath these vesicles and basically results in the fusion of these vesicles and the release of neurotransmitters, which basically bind to, for example, um, receptors on the muscle fibers and allow the transmission of the signal. It's known experimentally that facilitation is observed in the frog, and a facilitation can be measured um, as the number of vesicles that are released um, in a second stimulus divided by the number of vesicles released in the first stimulus. And it's basically difficult to understand what's going on in microscopic detail because it's hard to conduct experiments on the frog active zone. I used a spatially realistic computational model of the frog active zone, and uh, the model is, um, which was constructed at the PSC is simulated by MSIL, which is a stochastic reaction diffusion simulator. It allowed us to determine um, the effect of varying the number and location of voltage-gated calcium channels on the facilitation. So the overarching goal was to see how structure affects active zone function. And um, we had this hypothesis about a peaked relationship between the number of voltage-gated calcium channels and synaptic facilitation, which was represented by the per-pulse facilitation. Our simulation results matched our hypothesis. Um, we did observe a peaked structure. And um, this is significant because it shows that the neuromuscular junction can fine-tune its response for different types of muscle fibers and also for different types of synaptic vesicles. Some future directions for this project are to extend these computational approaches to study mammalian neuromuscular junctions and um, to study neurological diseases and even to predict the effect of drug treatments um, based on these models. We're working with Dr. Stephen Marini at the University of Pittsburgh and he's actually um, conducting these experiments in the lab and it'd be interesting to see if our simulation results match his results from the lab.